Okay, this is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Um, I'm making this video here uh, first just to let you know I've put a online downloadable video course together. Um, it's on the website. There's a link below in the description um, that will take you directly to that um, page on the website where that you can uh, purchase the uh, course if you'd like. Um, the reason I put this course together is basically um, because I know as watching deer hunting videos and stuff, a lot of that people perceive it as fake, which in reality it's not really fake, um, but it's not real as to how the average person hunts, like me or you. I don't hunt, uh, actually I choose by choice not to hunt anything but public land. Um, for personal reasons, several reasons. Um, in the course, I talked about it just a little bit. Um, but I know that hunting these ranches in these very expensive places that are two and three and four and five to even ten to twenty to thirty thousand dollars, okay, to hunt these places where they're they're killing these monster bucks on a regular basis. So I've made a video course that will help you to find areas where mature whitetails go to avoid hunting pressure because that's the main problem with most people's hunting places that they hunt is that they're hunting where deer are pressured. And guys, when deer are pressured they act completely different than a non-pressured deer. When deer, one of the best things that I have seen that deer are very good at is eluding people is avoiding people, is to stay away from people. And we're not talking about their senses, but their sense of smell is so great, and I'm not even talking about deer busting you out. I'm talking about deer being able to find where you're at, where human pressure is by the smell, guys. There have been studies, many of studies that have proven that deer can smell a human being up to a mile and a half away in certain conditions. Now, if you think of that, and you think of especially think, just think, in my home state, about 300,000 people take the woods on opening morning of rifle season. Now, let me ask you a question. How many of these deer in the woods are smelling people? They're smelling people. It's like a bomb hits the woods, guys. And it takes a few days, but these deer are are wise. They're not foolish. They're not dumb. They're not going to stay there. And what happens is a lot most of the deer that are killed are killed the first two days of gun season in my home state. And after that, there's very few deer killed. Yes, there are big bucks killed regularly because the rut hits at that time. That's the beginning of the rut. So the rut comes in and these deer go to, to rutting and there's people that get lucky. But I'm talking about finding deer on a regular basis that are pressured. And I made a video course that discusses several different things about that because the problem that most people don't realize is when this pressure hits the woods, yeah, you may have never, I mean, and hunting is, people don't realize this, but hunting is luck and it's skill. There's, there's two parts to it. You can be lucky and do everything wrong and kill a world record buck. You can be skillful, do everything perfect, and not kill a deer, okay? But if you have skill here and luck here and you put them both together, you're going to kill deer on a much more regular basis, okay? And I think the main problem with that is finding these deer. So I put a course together, and it's finding and hunting mature, so-called nocturnal, pressured, rutting bucks, okay? We're talking pressured deer, so-called nocturnal. Because pressure deer, where the average person hunts, is much different than what the than what you see on these hunting videos and things. Now, I'm not saying that if you buy this course and do everything possible that you're going to kill a world record buck. I'm not. If you get this course, and I guarantee it, uh, I'll give you a warranty. If you don't think that if you if you do buy the course and you don't believe that it that the information is true or you don't like it for any reason, all you have to do is email me. I will issue a 100% full refund within 30 days. Okay, that is my warranty to you. If you buy the course and you don't like it, you don't have to say, well, I don't like it because of this. I don't like it. I don't care. If you don't like it, you can even watch the course 
and like it your best. You can you can if you want your money back, I'll give you your money back. Okay, that's my warranty to you. But I believe that if you get this course and you can can if you study it and you can understand the concept that I've put together in this course, I believe it will, and, and you actually do it, I believe that it will improve your odds greatly. Now this is not the only course that I'm going to be putting together, but it just come to me very quickly what a huge problem is, is why people think that these deer hunting videos and things like that are fake. I hear people all the time saying that stuff is fake. And it's not fake, guys. These, these people are hunting unpressured deer. So the point of this course is to help you to find deer that, are, that have avoided these hunting pressure. Because their sense of pressure pushes them into areas where there's no pressure, where they're not pressured. And in these areas, they're not pressured. And these deer move on a regular basis during the daytime, these so-called nocturnal deer will move during the day, especially during the rut, during the day on a regular basis, on a daily basis nearly. Okay. Now bucks, one thing about bucks, people, a lot of people don't understand, during the rut, these deer move all over the place in search for does. Okay. So, and I a lot of people think that because just, especially during the rut, if you get a picture of a mature buck on a, on a trail camera during the rut, you may never see that deer again. That deer could be from miles and miles away. He may be just in search for does, okay? So the thing about these areas is you have to understand during the rut, you are hunting mature deer. If you're gonna hunt a mature deer during the rut, you're gonna have a very difficult time of locating that deer. But if you want to hunt mature, so-called nocturnal bucks, and when I say mature, I'm talking about a three and a half year old deer. If you want to hunt them deer, you have to find them deer. You can't kill a deer that you can't find. Okay? And by law, you can't kill a deer that's nighttime only. Okay? So you have to find the deer when he's moving in the daytime. So these areas that I, this video course that I put together, it's all about finding mature pressure so-called nocturnal deer and it can be used year-round but I, I concentrate a lot on the rut because that particularly is the best time to kill a mature white-tailed buck deer during the rut and I have reasons in the course that explains that I'm not saying that you can't kill them preseason because there are times and there are very good strategies to use to kill mature bucks during the, the very beginning of the season, okay, during the very beginning of the season when they're non-pressured yet, okay, and I'll have other courses on that, but this course here is particularly on finding mature bucks and hunting mature bucks that are so-called nocturnal, mature deer, period, that are so-called nocturnal on specifically public land because that's what I, all I hunt is public land, but it can be used on any piece of land that are, have pressured deer. With any deer that's been heavily hunted is pressured deer. Okay, so like I said, it's warranted. I have a guarantee on the course. If you don't like it for whatever reason, all you have to do is email me with your name, your uh, your confirmation number on the purchase so that I can find it easily and refund you the money and I will refund you the money within 30 days if, you, if it's within 30 days of you purchasing that download okay you don't even have to watch I don't even care what the reason is if you believe that you need your money back send me an email and I will refund you 100% of your money no questions asked at all so you have nothing to lose here except for saving you a bunch of headache and a bunch of time and many, many hours hunting spots in the woods where mature deer just are not going to come on a regular basis. I'm not saying you can't kill them there because you can, especially during the rut. Um, they can be killed anywhere, but I'm talking on a regular basis. And when I hunt 
I have different types of spots that I hunt. When I hunt my primary spots, and in this video, one of the uh, I take you into one of these spots and explain a lot about it. I actually walk you through step by step things that I do to get these spots set up. When I hunt one of my primary spots, and I use several different things to know when that spot's right, I see deer well over 50% of the time. Way over 50% of the time. Actually, I see deer on hunting all my spots. Some of my spots are, are what I consider secondary spots, and some spots are where I consider sort of a scouting spot. I see deer 50, about 50% 50 of the time on all my spots combined. When I hunt one of my primary spots, which are these kind of areas here that I'm talking about in this course that, you're, that I'm talking about, when I hunt these spots, I see deer almost every single time I hunt them. It's that, they're that good of spots. Now there's a lot that comes into when I hunt them and things like that, but these type of spots are the deer have been pushed in so many deer to avoid the hunting pressure that they are literally piled up in there that it's almost impossible not to see a deer. Okay, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video here. Um, there's a link below the description. If you, if you would like to get the uh, course, you can click on that link. It'll take you to the page where the course is for sale. If not, I, I still think that this video can give you some insight and and you can get some valuable information just from this video here because guys pressured deer do act different than non-pressured deer um, and the older the deer is the more the intense that they react to pressure hunting pressure any type of pressure because the deer don't know the difference between hunting pressure and just pressure um, scouting that's pressure on the deer um, many a different thing so anyways I hope you enjoyed this video here um, Check out DeerHuntingSchool.com for more uh, tips on deer hunting. Uh, thank you for watching the video and have a good day.